If Punk is eliminated, we are guaranteed to have somebody from this region who has never qualified since CPT went online in 2020. Punk is the last remaining champion from that online era. Idom was the other one. He's dead. Optimal punish. No scaling on that. Shine is cooking. Is Punk going out of the tournament before even losers finals? Alright, so today, guys, we have the top eight for the final CPT event of the season. CPT NA East featuring players like Knuckledoo, Punk, Smug. But there's been some upsets. We have Zonk Kami, Shine Space Boy, and Winner Side of Top 8 competing. And also Dead Eye Artist versus Punk and Smug versus Knuckledoo on loser side. And only the first place finisher here will get the guaranteed spot into Capcom Cup. And you might be looking at this and going, what the hell? Why is Punk, Smug, Knuckledoo all in losers in top eight? Well, if we go to that top 16, it's kind of a bloodbath. Kami put Idom in losers 2-1 using the Luke and ending it with a perfect where Idom actually rage quit at the end. And Lil Evil over here actually beat Punk 2-1 in pools before top 16 in the Luke mirror. And that's why down here we had Punk and losers already. It's going to be someone new in the grand finals no matter which way we slice it. Zonk, Kami, Shine, Space Boy. One of these four players is guaranteed being grand finals on winner's side, which means they have a real shot at potentially making it into Capcom Cup over a favorite like a Punk or a Knuckle Dude. So I can't call what's going to happen, but it's going to be a good show. That's all I know. We were talking about some of the, uh, you know, the accomplishments of both players thus far, right? Zonk has had a... <laughs> why is there an Abigail? <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but just putting a surprise Abigail next to someone's picture is so funny. <laughs> Good luck, Kami. Let's make this a good one. Also, shout outs to everyone who helped me become a better player. Zonk is so positive. Please show me the Kami quote. Luke got them nervous. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's facts. All right, he's activating down to just like a jab's worth of health. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He can get something done here. Oh my God. He's one hit away from super. Oh, he burned it. Oh, Kami is not scared. Oh, big damage. And he has the V trigger behind him. It's, he has to approach. Oh, but EX. Hey, watch the cross up. Yes. Okay, exactly. Same side. No V meter. No EX counter hit confirm and you're dead. Oh, wait, no, it's a pixel. He woke up V skill two in his grill. Come on, Zonk. We got a match. Wake up crouching medium. Wow, he's using the fear of the EXDP reversal to have his way on defense against Zonk right now. Oh, this is looking rough. Oh, with the V skill too, after the meaty elbow or the meaty shoulder. That was so dominant from Kami. Kami is on fire this weekend. Winners finals, 2-1 over Idom in top 16, 3-0 over Zonk. Zonk once again had a great run in the winner side, putting Kudo and Smug in losers. He now drops down there himself. Yeah, this is gonna be Cody Luke again. Wow, I, I didn't even think about that. So we're gonna go Sakura. I don't know what his pick is for Cody. Fireball, fireball, fireball. How does Cody deal with this? Is he gonna sway? He doesn't seem to be, oh my God, he got called out. He doesn't seem confident using sway to avoid the fireballs. He finally jumps and he gets sniped immediately by Space Boy. As a fellow enthusiast of the anti-air fireball, I know exactly how that feels and it feels mad good when it works. Space Invader Space Boy here, just walking into the ranges that he wants to be at and with the walk speed of Sakura, it's so fast. You're always scared to challenge. Standing light kick buffers. He is cooking Shine. Shine, Shine you're getting cooked. Oh, that's a Space Boy classic. Oh my God, Space Boy is having his way with Shine. Might be feeling the no, this is rough. Shine, take a breather. Take a breather, Shine. Holy smokes. Oh my God, Space Boy look, looking good. One throw away, Space Boy. Oh, what a V-shift. Raw V-trigger? Oh, that was a punish. You could have got something off that. Oh, that's going to convert the Forbidden Nooch with the full screen conversion. He drops the combo though. Oh, he was hoping the fireball was incoming and it was not. Space Boy just held his ground. Oh, Shine was so close to making a comeback happen right there. That was 
bust ass. I gotta be honest. Space Boy was doing everything Space Boy wants to do, and when he's hot, he's hot. Space Boy has taken in recent months tournament wins over people like Punk, over people like Knuckle Doo. Kami's been playing hot, but I feel like Space Boy has his X Factor right now, where Space Boy might go the distance. We have PG Punk going up against Dead Eye Artists. Oh! Oh, he burns the EX? I guess he's trying to set up the chip to just to get the uh, throw mix-up situation. Oh! Oh, nice and easy. Medium kick buffer. Immediate throw. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Stealing, stealing his turn. Oh my god! One hit away from stun, the V-Trigger also builds stun. <laughs> oh, with the T-Bag. Oh no, he got momentum. Oh, the whiff throw frame trap, and he's getting the conversions from that. Oh, he's two on point. Oh, he missed the cross cut? Oh, nothing is working out for Kalisto, oh, of course. Oh no, the optimal meter build and the optimal disrespect build. This is brutal, this is brutal. Oh God, he's about the perfect him, isn't he? He's gonna do immediate EXDP. Oh, I thought he was gonna immediate EXDP Kalisto. <laughs> oh, this is done. Oh my God, this is free. Wait, hold on, hold on. What does he got here? Uh-uh. Was that optimal? I, I don't know. Punk is like foaming at the mouth right now. Wait, it might cost him. You can tell he's just trying to go super aggro. <laughs> he just did so <laughs> Punk did not care. He was just chasing him down, a rabid dog in that last round. Yeah, 3 0. 3 0, 3 0. I didn't even realize that. People are getting smoked tonight. Smug versus Duke gonna be a G mirror? That would be wild because G versus G is so good for G. I don't remember the last time these guys played, but they have had classic sets in Street Fighter 4 and 5 for years. And I don't know what they're gonna pick. Cami does beat G. Exactly, yeah. V skill 2, V trigger 1. Okay. Yeah, Smug will go Balrog. I think Rog does good against Cami. This is scary. Oh, nice! Don't get crashing fears to CA. That's what you're trying to avoid is smug. Even low forward as well. 10 seconds left. Oh, he missed the dive kick. Yep, it's GG, that's over. Is it the G? It's the Armika. I like Rog versus both these characters, to be honest. No check on the drop kick. Here we go. Mix. Oh, it just gets the stun. Okay, reset now. Didn't guess correctly, and that's death. Wow. Without meter. When you get approach. Worth it. Worth it. Neutralize the V-Trigger. Oh, this might be bad, though. Oh, this might be bad. Oh, he avoids it. No, he misses the anti -air. It reset. He was mashing that didn't combo. No! Oh man, that is a heartbreaker. Yeah, see, I, I feel like dude, he's wondering when the command grab's gonna come. It's been regular throws. Finally, the command grab, he wasn't tight enough on it. The EX dash punch to get the pure 50 50. Do sees the overhead attempt and interrupts, and that's it. That's it. Do moves on, and Smug is eliminated from the bracket at seventh place, but do making the miracle comeback to the Street Fighter V community and scene is moving on through the bracket. And he's poised to go on a, on a big run, I gotta say. All right, well, that is the first round of top eight complete. So we have Kami versus Space Boy in the winner's finals. And then on the loser side, Shine Punk and Zonk Knuckle Dew. Shine Punk, kind of a classic match. I can't recall a time where Shine has beaten Punk. 45 plus sets played, 28% shine, 72% punk. So there have been a few wins here and there, but yeah, you know how punk gets down. It's tough. If you miss that opportunity, he just gets three, a uh, uh, bunch of plus frames. Gets the neutral jump, 
on the extra zonk. Oh no, Punk is guessing correctly over and over. Nice challenge into the corner. Wait, forbidden nooch time? What is, what, oh, I don't know what he tried to do. Walk under Crouch Fierce to get like the juggle. Oh, that was a huge opportunity missed. I mean, good call out, but man, that could have been beefy damage. I'm pretty sure that was in range. No anti air again from Shine. I think that was a good angle for him. Big jump. Oh my God, big damage. <gasps> Sway punish on the V reversal. Oh, he landed the jab, but it didn't believe in the combo. One button away. Interrupt 1-1 one, one Shine versus Punk. Double dash. <gasps> oh, level two Zonk. And look look how close he is to getting the V-Trigger himself. Oh, okay, Punk has V-Trigger in play. Oh my God, V-Reversal is out. Wait, is he gonna interrupt? <gasps> he didn't get the combo. 10 seconds, 15 seconds. No meter on Punk's side. Oh, he gets to approach. Oh, he didn't get the punish on the jump out again. The jumps have been so clutch for Punk. Okay, Shine. Oh, footsies. Shine is looking good. Oh, no, he dropped the combo. No, not a Shine moment. Oh, no, Shine has been in these positions before. He drops the clutch moments and then falls apart when he has the lead. Oh, come on, Shine. Not like this. Not like this, Shine. Oh, he fell on it. He's been going for that neutral jump to bait Shine into the range, but Shine just says, get out of the air. Okay, I was scared. If Punk is eliminated, we are guaranteed to have somebody from this region who has never qualified since CPT went online in 2020. Punk is the last remaining champion from that online era. Idom was the other one. He's dead. Optimal punish. No scaling on that. Shine is cooking. Is Punk going out of the tournament before even losers finals? Just keep doing your thing, Shine. This is your time. Oh, nice air to air. Luke's specialty. Good block. Doesn't fall for the throw bait. <sighs> the jump. Oh, Punk is all over him. He can't stop the jump angles. Oh my God, he's dead. No, Shine. Shine composure. I want it punked for the storyline to go on, but I can't ha see Shine fall apart at the end. I can't see Shine fall apart at the end. Oh, he walked into the buffer. Forbidden Nooch, here we go. Oh my God, Punk is trying to shut down all momentum. Punk is turning this around entirely. This looked like a, a set for Shine guaranteed almost in the last round. V reversal, nullifying his comeback factor here. Gets the shimmy, one guess away. This is for your tournament life, Shine. Oh, this was looking too good for Punk, and he closes it out. Shine falls down after being so close to causing Punk the upset to taking him out of the tournament. But Punk is the definition of clutch. More Cody action coming our way though. Zonk versus Knuckledo. Zonk has had an impressive resume this weekend, putting Kudo and Smug into losers. And the winner of this will go on to play Punk. Level two Zonk, yeah, you want none of that. And I guess against Cody, it kind of makes sense to keep, oh, you're dead. Low, super, yeah. You are dead. Let's go. This is some, this is some 2020 G, I like it. Oh, big level two zonk again. You can't survive a round where you get level two zonk twice. Oh, you guessed wrong. Oh, wow. Whoa, dude is, is he gonna do this? This is gonna be so clutch. V skill. Oh, he optimized so well. One guess away, because command grab, that's it. Oh my God. How did he survive the defense on this man? This is actually a scary spot. Yeah, force the V meter out of out of G. Oh, he messed up the anti-air? What, he did a rock? Oh, he can't afford the trade on the anti-air and Do is going to move on over Zonk. Man, Zonk had a couple of good moments there, but Do is next level. But that means we have Punk versus Knuckle Do. But first we're doing winner's finals, Kami versus Space Boy. Both of these players have a chance to take it all. I think Space Boy, if he gets the winner's side advantage, could easily take a first to three over both Punk and Knuckle Do. Not easily, but it's in the realm of possibility. Yeah, we need Kami to go Abigail. It's the only way he can win. 
Oh, see, these fireball traps are just working. He's actually getting zoned out mostly. Oh, but he lands to confirm with only 20 seconds on the clock. He gets the corner, gets the meaty counter hit. And the confirm from the low forward whiff punish. That was looking so good for Space Boy until he got put into that quarter situation. Oh, final guess. There it is. That's a Space Boy special. Here we go. There, he avoided the, the sand blast. He backs up from full screen. Luke's fireball does not go full screen. So you do have an advantage from full screen away, but obviously you're giving up the space. Seventeen seconds. The fireball trap works. Oh my goodness! All right, forcing early activation. No meter from from Kami. Kind of a good spot for Space Boy, but Kami will get another V trigger. But that shimmy definitely causing grief for Kami. Good air to air. That's what uh, a couple of other players could have used during this tournament run. Fireball trap. Look at the zoning. It's working. It's working. It's working. Oh my god. Space Boy back in control with the Sakura. Okay, Kami definitely in a good spot now. Oh my god! Commentator fucking curse. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Space Boy on match point. Let me shut my face right now. Wow. Oh, the V reversal. That was critical. Oh, he baits one of them. That's huge. Oh my god, he finds his way in again. No meter from Kami still. 20 seconds on the clock. Look at the movement! Wait, wake up the fort! V-Trigger's gone. 10 seconds on the clock. Kami can finally confirm and make this happen. He does have a bar on the table. He wasted. This is over. Once Kami spent that bar, it's literally over. Down back, GG. Good game. Good game. Space Boy is going to Grand Finals with the taunt. They both knew it was done. Space Boy going to Grand Finals of NACPT East. Winner's side. He knew the clock was on his side. It was over. Drop the taunt. GG's. Here we go. Space Boy. He is the dark horse for this tournament bracket. I think he has a shot to get it done. But we're going to see uh, Titan challenging him from the loser side. We are in the final stretch. Two Titans of the Street Fighter community. Capcom Cup champion versus the most winningest player in Street Fighter V history. Whoever wins this set, there are no breaks. They need to win four sets in a row in order to qualify for Capcom Cup. Knuckle Dew needs to win today in order to qualify. Punk is, is also in the World Warrior Regional Finals, so he has one more chance to qualify for Capcom Cup through that regional final tournament. But if Punk loses this tournament, he is out for the season. That is it. He can try his luck at the LCQ. We're going to see the sprint from one of these players, I believe. They got to go to the, the distance or, you know, either fall now, fall the Kami, fall the Space Boy, or take the whole thing. So we will see. So these two have gone back and forth for so long, provided so many classic Street Fighter V sets. It's going to be a juicy one. Wait, big jab check. But no V-Trigger. This is actually not bad. It, oh! oh my god. Why does Luke have the best everything? Best buttons, best fireball, best damage, best jump-ins, dude. Oh, he whiffed on the activation, but crouching light kick. Challenge on the pressure. Wake up medium from Punk. The uh, Barre levels are too high right now, dude. Oh my god, and this is bad. Punk has V-Trigger. Oh, this is bad. Quick 2-0 for Punk. Come on, dude. Oh, good confirm on the raw medium as well. Oh! Oh, he didn't believe in the punish. He could have got uh, Crouching Medium to EX and get the party started. Oh my god, Punk is fishing for one more confirm. Oh, big jump. That's it. He doesn't drop the combo and it's over. Knuckle Dew is out of the tournament, out of the running for Capcom Cup. That is the end of Knuckle Dew's comeback return to the 2022 Street Fighter V season. And Punk is moving on in dominant fashion. All right. Winners finals or sorry, <laughs> losers finals. 
Luke Mir, baby, just what we were waiting for. Luke Mir, Punk versus Kami. Kami, the man who put Idom and losers with the perfect, causing the champs to rage quit. And then Punk's been on a tear in losers bracket after getting sent there early by Lil Evil and another Luke Mir. Oh, big confirm. You just know he's gonna confirm. Like, these players were just so reliable for the anti-airs, for the DPs. Stagger, medium, DP for the max damage on the stun. V-skill power up, what does he have for us? Oh, he saves the V-skill. Saves the V-skill. <sighs> that was a big whiff, and the V-skill allows him to get the full extension on the punish. First game to Punk. Who is gonna stop this man? 20 seconds on the clock. Kami is down. Here, he's gonna have to make a move. He has the V-Trigger as well. You gotta make a move, dude. Oh, it's over, it's over, it's over. Yeah, he gave up, he immediately gave up. Crosscut, oh, the angles. Kami is not ready for the crosscuts entirely. He's, he's fumbling. Oh, meaty, Kami tried to jump out. One guess away from stun, delay tech, but the up four, but he dropped. He dropped the combo, that was gonna kill for sure. Oh, wait, he's still dead. Super. Nice and easy. Three. Oh. Of course, Kami's gonna rage quit. What's up with this rage quit culture? What's going on here? Man, look at the run. Punk drops to losers in the Luke Mirror to Lil Evil in the big upset. Probably the biggest upset of the bracket. Moves on the top 16 loser side. Has to fight Art. One of the biggest wrenches in the bracket for many of the top players here. Art has had an amazing 2020 and 2021, 2022 year. 2 0 over Idom. Before top 8, he had to take out the biggest threat in the event. 2 0 over Idom. Moves on into top 8 loser side. 3-0 over Deadeye Artist in dominant fashion with the, uh, you know, his down button got stuck a number of times. 3-2 versus Shine where he got the closest to being eliminated but Shine could not close out in the 10th hour there. 3-0 over Knuckledew, previous Capcom Cup champ Knuckledew, and it was in dominant fashion. 3-0 over Kami, coming up to the grand finals on loser side to take it all the way to Space Boy, the young gun who's been grinding this past season, putting in the work getting stronger and stronger, and he has the Grand Finals advantage. Punk trying to be the definition of clutch, the young upstart positive force anime aficionado space boy trying to believe in the heart of the cards and get his first Capcom Cup appearance. I think space boy has a shot to win, but he has to do it set one. I think if this goes to set two, it's it's not looking good for space boy. I would be terrified to be in space boy's position because Punk is hot right now. Who put Punk in losers? I just said. <laughs> I just gave you the whole story. Nice like hit confirm. Whoa, my God. That is something that not, not a lot of the Luke players would do. Like his DP is still, he's just still more busted than people always acknowledge. Anti-fireball DP with crazy horizontal range. Oh man. Oh, and the juggle. Oh, this is free already. Oh, no. First game. Easy. Smooth sailing for Punk. I don't like this. The resource management here. Space Boy has no meter at all. No V meter or regular meter on the table. Punk is working on two bars, working on three right here, and has V trigger behind him. He's just falling behind in the resource management. Oh, uh, yeah, he's going to be in range for Chip soon. He has almost V-Trigger. Space Boy has V-Trigger, but he's going to be hard-pressed to find the opening. That's it. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, Punk jump timing has been so good. His use of the cross-up jumps has been so effective against everybody in this tournament so far. Oh, he meant to crosscut DP. That's a huge win for Space Boy. Space Boy trying to find the activation. He has his own V-Trigger ready. Oh, he's a, such a bad spot. Walks out, excellent. Oh, he didn't get the forward movement on the Tatsu. Okay, this V-Trigger gives him some advantage on the Fireballs as well. Come on, let's get, let's get another game here. Oh, he accidentally did an overhead. That was supposed to be a Fireball, I think. Plus frames, Shimmy, it didn't kill. The definition of clutch. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Punk is gonna find the cross-up angle, isn't he? There it is! We have a set! We have a set!
Oh, good awareness from Punk. It's a throw in the V reversal. Oh, the stun is racking up. The corner pressure is very strong. One more V reversal on the side of Space Boy. He just builds a little bit of space there. Finds the EX Fireball. Punk! Oh my god, look at this. I'm telling you, he, he can run it back. Oh my god. Wait a minute. One round away from tying this up. Punk is not attacking. No, the angle! It's too good! Oh, and he just eats the safe jump? Oh, you're one guess away from stun here. He still does it? Fake safe jump? Double dash and chase the back dash! He knows about this! Double dash up again! He wants the pressure! No, no meter from... No meter from Punk! Oh my god. Oh, what a check composure. Oh, is that it? The reset. Oh no, what do you do? Reset. Oh my God, I wanted a 2-2 situation at least. The problem with this is if it was a clean sweep against Sakura, easily go to, to Luke. But he started to get momentum there. But the thing is, the moments he had, he was often relying too often, in my opinion, on hard reads and comebacks. Oh, good, confirm from Punk. Corner situation already. God, his throw pressure has been so strong. But wait, he finds a challenge. Double dash, no, he did the quick rise. Your fake Oki's getting blown up. You're dead. Oh my God, you're dead. Just like that. Still, see, Punk is just so good at getting to that range and just scooping Space Boy. There we go. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, there we go. Why didn't he go to Luke immediately on the reset? I don't understand. I don't understand. He was working so hard. Oh, excellent V shift. Oh, that was ah, that was unfortunate. That whiff. Oh, avoids the situation though. But no, Punk just walks in and throws his walk throw timing. Finally, a challenge, right? Especially with the V trigger arm behind that, he can challenge much more comfortably and with more range. That's a punish. That's a punish. V. That's. Oh, is he dead? I'm telling you, why didn't he go to Luke earlier? 1-1, one, one. we still got a set. We still got a set. No, Punk is ready, dude. He's ready. Oh, Abare, people are mashing this tournament. There's so much mashing. V-Skill 2 on V-Skill 2 on V-Skill 2, baby. You have to guess. Force the V-Reversal out of Space Boy. Oh, he found the jump. He could have emptied jump C8 or something. No confirm for Space Boy, but he gets the random fireball connect. Oh my God. Why didn't you pick Luke from the get-go? My guy. This round is so critical. 2-1 is huge. This is a critical round for both these players and good start from Punk. Momentum in his favor. Oh, he finally stuck in a dash. Oh, did it connect? My heart is racing. Oh, excellent. Confirm on the raw medium. Oh, big jump. Big jump. That's it. Match point to punk oh space boy was getting a little cheeky after that jump in he was waking up with something or another but it wasn't a block oh that's huge oh oh my god oh my god punk up. He does neutral jump into another jump attempt. Big buttons from Space Boy. Oh my god, are we gonna get the last game? Last, oh my god, we might get a final game situation, guys. Oh, the presence of mind to confirm in these 10 situations. He doesn't get the combo. He wastes the V trigger. Late V reversal from Space Boy. One confirmed to CA. Space Boy can do it. He just has to get the one touch. Oh, that's a mistake. He thought he had it. Punk punishes. One guess away. Final match point for Punk because Space Boy missed the confirm. He thought he had the confirm. Oh, he misses the cross cut, but he misses the jump and return. Punk gets the back there. Wake up, blow for it connects, but no confirm from Space Boy. You can see the nerves are here. <sighs> confirm from Punk. Wake up, Super. Wake up, Super. 
when your tournament life for Capcom Cup is on the line. Full meter for Punk, though. Low forward activate from Space Boy. Doesn't connect. Oh my god. He gets the first. Oh. No, 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 no. Keep it down. Punk is one touch away from getting into Capcom Cup. Any confirm will do it. Space Boy knows it. They both know. He wastes. He uses the bar? I cannot believe he used the EX. Oh, that's the reason. He has the life lead. V skill 2 doesn't connect. Space Boy blocks it out. Oh! He's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, he's got it. Punk is your NA East champion with the low forward confirmed to DP. The definition of clutch. What a run from Punk. Oh my goodness. Wow. Emphatic finish. Confidence of the low forward to DP. He has those. Punk, uh, he, you know, he brought the low forward, confirmed to the Street Fighter V meta, and he has been the king of it. The king of the nooch, king of the control, king of the confirms. And he's back at it. He's back in Capcom Cup. Wow. Shout out to Space Boy. That was an amazing run. Space Boy played amazing, but Punk is just so fucking good. When he wants to be good, when he when it matters the most, like this is what Punk does, dude. When his back's against the wall, when it's time to clutch up, like he does it. Like he really does.